Wherever humans interact, there is potential for greatness and epic failure. Take driving, for example. If I were the only car on the road, I could drive as fast as I wanted to, turn anywhere, and get where I needed to be. However, when millions of people need to get where they need to be, there must be rules. It may be annoying to sit at a red light when you're in a hurry, but if you don't follow the rules, someone, maybe you, could be hurt. Human interaction on the internet is no different. We must have rules so that everyone can safely access its content without being hurt. To drive, you must take a class, practice, and pass two tests. For the internet, you just turn on your computer. This lecture is designed to teach you how to safely and conscientiously navigate the web. The term for this type of interaction is netiquette, so let's learn and get our license to surf. Etiquette is the root word for netiquette. Etiquette is the way we interact appropriately with one another. Think of your great aunt Sally with a cup of tea and doilies. She is aware of the people around her, kind and careful not to offend. This is a stereotype, of course, but an acceptable visual of proper behavior. We must remember that even though we are hiding behind our screens, we are still interacting with real people. It is imperative that we communicate in a way that is clear, concise, professional, and friendly. Good netiquette is being a good person. These are simple rules that are broad enough to encompass almost all actions in almost all situations. More specific social norms to consider when using the internet will follow. However, before making a post of any kind, Stop and remember that you are interacting with human beings who have feelings and apply these simple rules. Be polite, be prepared, be engaged. The golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, applies to all aspects of human interaction. The internet is no exception. The following 12 rules of netiquette will help you navigate successfully on the internet. Tone is important. It's hard to convey tone via typing. Capital letters are one way to express tone. Bold, highlight, underline, and emoticon smiley faces can also help accent and complement your posts. Be sure to use them appropriately. Emoticons and abbreviations are not appropriate for academic writing. Any assignment that is submitted for professional review and or grading should be completely professional. When communicating via the internet privately using email, IM, or text messages, for example, emoticons are helpful and appropriate. Keep your messages short. People are more likely to read a short message. Abbreviations are not appropriate for submitted academic writing. Google an abbreviation before using it to make sure that it is appropriate for a public setting. Comments you post to the web are public forever. Be sure you will be proud of what you post tomorrow and 20 years from now. Create a professional, positive image for yourself online. Any writing you submit for review must be written professionally. This includes grammar, spelling, and vocabulary. Personal emails, chats, and texts can be flexible with spelling and grammar to keep them short. However, content must always be appropriate and kind. Spam is the internet version of junk mail. Indiscriminately posting unrelated comments and forwarding are known as spamming. Stay on topic and never advertise or market via posts. To flame is to respond harshly and negatively to someone else's post. Don't respond to flame if you receive it. Be kind.
Avoid flame by using the FAQs and help yourself. Oftentimes your questions have already been asked and answered. Just take a moment to find them. This saves others in the conversation from seeing and reading the same thing multiple times. Be engaged. Make yourself look good. You would not go out to meet new people or on a new job interview inappropriately dressed. The internet is an opportunity to meet people when you are not even aware of it. Take the time to craft an honest and positive image that you are and will be proud of. Before posting anything, confirm with yourself that if your mom, grandma, or your boss read it, they will be impressed. Be prepared. Keep your address, phone number, passwords, important numbers, images, etc. safe. Never share them online. Never post images without someone's permission or that contain inappropriate content. Remember, anyone can find your posts and see them forever. Be kind. Never say anything online that you would not say to someone's face. Again, what you post can come back to haunt you. Use the internet kindly and carefully. Don't be a bully. Everyone makes mistakes, even you. The best thing to do is ignore mistakes that others make. Fix and correct your own. The only person you can truly change is yourself. Start there. Don't steal. Using others' works without giving them credit is stealing and illegal. These rules are a compilation from three internet sites recommended by Dr. Dove of Boise State University. For more details and information, check out the live links on this slide. Here's a quick reminder of the most important rules of netiquette. Remember, these rules apply to all communications on the web, email, blog, social media, texting, publishing, chatting, and any new mediums not even yet invent invented. Okay, now that you have completed your training for a license to surf, please take a moment to answer the questions located at the link above. If you want to know more about the importance of netiquette and the consequences of poor netiquette on society, watch the PBS video Bad Behavior Online. Thank you, and may you surf happily and safely always.